The world of wireless charging took another big step forward today with Xiaomi releasing their Mi Turbo Charge. This is Xiaomi's latest take on wireless charging technology. And today we found out that 30 watt fast wireless charging is coming to a Xiaomi product very soon. The product that it's coming to is the Xiaomi Mi 9 Pro 5G. A bit of a mouthful that one. So this is the upgrade to the Xiaomi Mi 9 which was released earlier on in the year. One of the first phones to carry the new Snapdragon 855. The Pro 5G version should be carrying a Snapdragon 855 Plus and an X50 modem giving it 5G capabilities. It will be based on the Mi 9 so it will carry a very very similar design but it will have 5G, a faster processor and it will also carry this brand new 30 watt fast wireless charging. In typical Xiaomi fashion, Xiaomi is saying they are the first in the whole world to give us this fast wireless charging and technically that is true although there are other brands namely Huawei with the P30 Pro that are going to be giving us very similar fast wireless charging in upcoming products very soon. The Xiaomi Mi 9 Pro will be apparently getting a bigger battery than the Xiaomi Mi 9 although the Snapdragon 855 Plus is a more power hungry chipset so it does really need that. The Mi 9's battery life wasn't that great anyway because the battery was so small. But it looks like Xiaomi have fixed that with a bigger battery overall and this brand new 30 watt wireless charging. So this means you can charge your Xiaomi device wirelessly way quicker than most other devices using a USB-C connector. If we take a closer look at the actual charging speed graph, you can see that compared to a 27 watt wired charger. It is actually more or less the same. It's a little bit quicker up to about 25% but then it's actually a little bit slower up to about 80% and in the last little bit it actually gets a little bit quicker than wired charging again. This will be coming to Xiaomi products and other products, Huawei for example, which means really there's no real need to charge your phone using a wire now and if it doesn't have a headphone jack either that means the USB-C connector is basically going to be pretty useless for 99% of the time. Moving on to Huawei and Honor. Honor have confirmed that the V30 series will be released this year. It will be carrying the new 990 chipset from Huawei and it will have 5G too. There's no confirmation on whether it will use the integrated 5G Kirin 990 or the 4G 990 with an external 5G modem. Considering the V30 is usually a cheaper device, I would not expect it to come with the 5G integrated Kirin 990. That is a pretty expensive chip and will be really reserved for the highest end models in the Huawei range. But as yet confirmed, so watch out for that one. Now coming to Realme, they have actually confirmed that a Realme device will be coming with a 90 hertz refresh rate screen very soon. This is important because Realme are a budget brand, but they are putting basically a flagship spec into what would be a device that is cheaper than the OnePlus 7 or the OnePlus 7T when it comes out. And the OnePlus 7T non-pro variant will be coming with a 90 hertz display. And Oppo have also said they are working on their own versions of 90 hertz display cell phones too. So all of those brands actually being owned by the same company, it really makes sense. The first phone in that lineup, the OnePlus 7 Pro to actually use that 90 hertz display was a complete and utter success with using that display. Everyone loved the refresh rate on that phone. It made the usage experience so much better and it seems like BBK have used that success and now they are rolling out 90 hertz display technology across all of their brands. And how can we forget Vivo? They have been teasing today the upcoming launch of the Vivo Nex 3. There will be a 5G version of this too, but we got a good look at the entire device and what it will look like and man, that display looks absolutely fantastic. The brand new waterfall display design which will be coming to a ton of new phones in the second half of this year and into 2020. You better get used to the waterfall display because it is not a one-off. It will be used more and more often and we see more detailed images of the back camera unit too. Although I do hope we keep flat screens as well in phones because I personally just prefer flat screens when I'm actually using a device. But let me know your thoughts, send me a comment. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.